Hey guys, absolute piece of garbage here. Today I'm gonna show y'all to draw. Mm. Oh, uh, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna show you how to draw a detective poodle is kicking a can because his his he is pissed off. He is so mad they won't let him take the case. That, well, he just has to let out his anger somehow. So he goes, wah. Yes, that's right. Mr. Poodles does wear shoes. Now you're wondering what's my fascination with Mr. Poodles. You know what? I don't think I have... Wait, you know, Mr. Poodles sort of reminds me of, you know, the guy from Bleach, the character. You know the guy, that popular guy, right? <laughs> Pretty sure I'm gonna remember his name in a short second. Uh, Kumo Mama, I think. Captain Kumo Mama. He was a dog captain. That was a big deal or something. I don't even know how that works. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. That's his leg kicking the can. And this is the can. I'm not really sure. You know. Not so sure. If it looks okay. Or if it looks. Like sense, you know what I mean? I don't I feel like there's something more to the art of kicking cans. Huh? How do your hands look when you kick hands? Hmm? Are we really? Hmm. How is your center of balance? I feel like the hand should be Somewhere here. Yeah, you, you guys can see that stroke, right? You can definitely see it. Um. Okay, I have not been paying any attention to any of the videos I've been making recently. So if there's, you know, problems, just say it in the comments. The eyes that are there. Just say it in the comments. It'd be, uh, that'd be great. Let's see. His hand is like. Oh, you know? word uh, oh it's not a word hmm. Hmm. I want them to have an a an angry posture but I don't know how to do that well he's kicking yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if it looks okay. And yes, he is wearing a skirt, you know. It's mostly to measure where the leg is. Or how long the other leg is. You see, it's pretty much a... You know that thin and math glass? I think it's called a compass. It's weird, right? Why is it called a compass? You know, we already have a compass, man. Why are you calling something that's not showing you directions a compass? I'm gonna tell you a little story, kid. See, back in the day, there were two different kinds of compasses. The ones that worked, and the ones that quote-unquote geniuses figured out how to use. And while I'm making up this story, she doesn't know. But, uh, well, it's absolutely true. Okay, let's see, Mr. Poodle is, is frowning. And, uh, well, there you go. I, I just can't figure out how to draw a dog. You know the posture I drew him yesterday. I mean, it's a very odd posture, and you know it's very hard. So of course I can't do it. It's cause it's hard. Don't ever let that stop you, kids. Actually, if anything is ever hard, just stop right there. You don't need that. It's too much. You know, it's doing too much. Like the people around me say doing too much. I never understood that. All those wondering, doing so much what, you know? You know, I mean, eating? Too much food eating? Is it eating too much? You might, you might notice, Mr. Poodles doesn't look like Mr. Poodles from the 
And the first time I drew him, and the image is still right here, I'm just not going to use it as reference. Because, well, I don't feel like it. Pretty sure his head is different now. Now, I'm going to make him... Hmm... You know, I think about it, Mr. Poodles looks like he's playing a fun game of kick the can and not pissed off. Maybe he should also shoot the can. You know. How do dogs look mad? I used to draw lions all the time when I was younger. Oh boy, I love my past. Have I ever told you that uh, for no reason my brain constantly you guy I'm talking to constantly reminds me of my past for no reason at all. I mean, it's possible that's some sort of weird backup thing, so I never forget who I am. But to be honest, I will be absolutely fine if I forgot everything. Yeah, you know, I don't know why I constantly remember every worst moment of my life, every day, all the time, whenever I just stop talking. You know, I also realize that the reason I talk so much is so that I don't have to think so much and I don't end up having so many memories blasted in my face. But no, no, you know what? You know, let's just blast this cookie. Something blast, dude. So what's a better poster for kicking cans? Let me try something. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, also I'm naked, so uh. Okay guys, I'm back, uh, figured out the banner poster. Okay, all I did was pretend to kick a cannon. It came to me, it just came to me through the magic arrows of, uh, of magic. Ah, I see, there you go, it really looks better. Mr. Poodles has a very long bag, as you might have noticed, maybe. He has very long, I should give him dog legs, huh? No bad. I mean, he's a dog, I, I am making him extremely tall, by the way. We're just very weird looking, you know? <laughs> because having this kind of skinny frame is real cool and all when you're six foot eight, so if you're you know, three foot eights, it's very scary and bothersome. Like, jeez, dude, are you starving yourself? What's wrong with you? He's like, nah, I'm just, uh, just working out. <laughs> I was like, dude, that's not how you work out. I was like, nah, bro, if you, when you're six foot eight, I and mean, when you're three foot eight, tell me how you work out. Piece of garbage. By the way, uh, okay. There you go. Mr. Poodles doesn't have the uh, suit on anymore. Right now he's done in a uh, sweat suit. I believe that's what they're called. And well, you know, he's a pretty good guy. I realize that I wasn't uploading any of my videos to Patreon anymore. Mostly because I was just bored of the process. I was like, geez, I don't have to do this now. Can I just do it when I have more subscribers? that that make more sense? I'm like, I'm pretty sure I have a ton of videos by then. And it'd be very unbearable. My Christmas present is going to, probably going to be a... Uh... A new laptop, so... I can also buy a new laptop right now, but I just, the Jew in me. <laughs> I remember making a joke at some point about being half Jew, half black. Oh yeah, I was talking about the Holocaust. There you go. Yeah, it was pretty good then. The Holocaust. No, 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 not the Holocaust. Uh, the joke. The joke was a good then. Holocaust was horrible. Yeah, 
how many people died in all of us? Like a thousand, dude. That's like a hundred people, man. That's a lot. I'd be like, stop making jokes, bro. It's the Holocaust. No, I'm not making jokes. It was horrible. When you if you find that somehow funny, you're a horrible person. Look at this pencil so blunt now. It's annoying. Kind of sharpening yesterday or today. I didn't even plan on doing it. There's no procrastination. I just don't feel like doing it. Yeah, I should probably leave the can there. You're like, Argh. maybe I should draw a bunch of cans around him. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, with the next part of the story, don't see? He gets to. Uh, yeah. Uh, a ticket for littering. And, like, the cans are already there. <laughs> and then they're like, dude, you're still helping scatter the can, which is making very difficult for people who are doing community service either voluntarily or, or as a consequence of their action and well because of that we can't let you you know go off scot-free and then he kills a cop he joins the cannibalism gang who like oh i've had too much of humans man the jailing of course it doesn't really make sense because he's joining humans right but no well, it's fine You know, it's not really that hard to make a story, just anything that makes sense to make it happen. The real problem with a lot of art, of writers, is, well, they want a certain feeling to their story. They don't actually have a story in their hand, they're just... They can make a story right now, it's, uh... Well, yeah, here's some guy, he found a box, and whenever he opens the box, a spir spirit soul thing comes out, and, uh... Or makes him super strong or something. Gives him a variety of powers and and immediately after he finds the box, some guy comes tracking him down. And by the way, I'm using Ben Tan's story. Uh, you know, you know, you know, no one's ever gonna do that. Because you know, people only really copy less original ideas anyway. The only one that's allowed to ruin Ben Tan is Ben Tan. Anyway, some guy is like, hey, you know, I want that can, dude. And that bag. That box. No, you see, even with that story, let me show you how they can ruin it. They can say, oh, this guy who just randomly found the box doesn't even know what it does. Just merely starts fighting the quote unquote antagonist of the story for no reason. He's just like, oh, hey, you want this box? Well, I'm not gonna give it to you, dude. It's wrong. You know, like that. Amazing Spider-Man episode, no, movie, where, you know, his friend was asking for his DNA and was like, nah, I can't do that, buddy, because we need a villain. I'm sorry. You know, that was stupid, man. That made no sense. You know, they could have just written better and made it say that. Oh, uh, I, he's asking to set, for me to sacrifice my life. You know, or maybe he even agrees, and he says, in the process, the guy's like, I can't just secure my disease, I gotta take this guy's entire power, and then he tries to kill him, and that's what he started building. Not just random, stupid garbage. And, you see, the problem with that story was, you're trying to copy another movie, where some guy asked for something horrible, and the other guy couldn't possibly deliver it, because... Because of that, they just already said some things that were gonna happen, and it's going to be Green Goblin asks Spider-Man for something. Spider-Man says no, Green Goblin goes crazy, right? And just because they already had a plan of the story, it ruined the entire thing. No, that wasn't all that ruined it, I didn't actually watch the movie, I just saw something talked about it, and I saw that scenario, and that's where I'm getting the idea about. Now let me unruin the, uh, the theft of the Ben 10 story. It's the guy who's like, hey, man, give me that box. And he, like any intelligent person who wants something, says, that's my box. I actually dropped it there and I was coming back to look for it. And the guy's like, oh, sorry, my bad. Here you go. And then, the guy's still a villain, though, and he's like, oh, hey, man, I'm gonna kill your family now. Ha, ha, ha. He found the magical box that only goes to good people. 
or something. And um, because of that, you know, I don't know what kind of shoes these are, by the way. I'm not a shoe guy. I know, I'm blind. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know. you know, the first time I entered America, I was like, geez, dude. I thought you guys would be about burgers and um, just like movie scenarios all the time. Your major rights would be falling everywhere. I watch a lot of cartoons in the past. I actually watch them now. I'm the only self that's bearable here. I hate actors, man. God damn it. Voice actors are better because you don't see their dumb faces. Oh, oh, you know, I'm really good and cool. Mm. Oh, nice quip here. Oh, I thought you didn't need a female accomplice, huh? I'm like, oh, my bad. I'm, I apologize. I'm such a male uh, deficient. Uh, everything. Anyway, the guy's like, uh, <laughs> guy's like, hey man, uh, I was actually evil and. This box really belongs to you, and uh, I want to show you a bunch of ways you can go with just one part of the story. You can go, you can spend the entire season with this guy chasing this other guy for the box of power. Box. I just realized it means a vagina in some places, and well, the box of power. It's pretty hilarious. Anyway, he's like, uh, in the end of the season, and while he's doing that during the entire season, he finds a bunch of villains and fights them and he finds a bunch of people who teach him ways to use the legendary box and it's actually a secret establishment it's in training to replace the box but since it's just so powerful it can only get a percentage of its power the guy gets the box at the end of the season right or you can make him get the box right then because the box just goes to him anyway because he uses some special call that he never knew. Ever. Yes, that's right. That's the bad part of his story. I apologize for explaining that better. Mm, I guess I should give him a lab coat, you know. I mean, who's Dr. Poodles without his lab coat? Think about it. He's not a scientist anymore. He's just a plain old detective and super genius dog guy. What am I talking about again? <laughs> Who knows, right? I'm starting to realize that I actually can't, if I listen to anything I talk about, you know, I'm gonna do that just to make sure. Because I was just pulling that out of my, uh, um, out of my brain space. And I'm going to give Dr. Poodles a weird kind of clothing. Which I've never seen before, I just made it up right now. Well, I mean, I say that all, I'm pretty sure. I've never known this before, I just did it right now. And, uh, probably it gets old at some point, but, uh, you know, I'm awesome. I don't want you to know that every single time. And of course, it's always pretty much true. Right? No, I, I think I have seen similar clothing before in uh, Bleach. You guys watch Bleach, you haven't? Just unsubscribe. Unsubscribe right now. Just click that button. You haven't watched Bleach? Just get out of here, man get out of here. I don't want fans who can't even appreciate such a great anime. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's fair. And fair, you know, it's, don't you know that great of an anime? I rewatched it three times and realized, eh. I mean, I was starting to get bored, but that's because I rewatched it three times. But actually, now I think I can't really realize any problems with Bleach other than if you didn't like the main character. But I like the main character from the beginning. But if you didn't like the main character, and he just kept getting powerful, more powerful as time went on. You would absolutely hate Bleach, right? Like Naruto, you know. If you don't like Naruto, you know. Of course, Naruto is longer, and the writer of Naruto in this randomly takes some dumb hiatus. Oh, you know, kissing. My lungs are weak or something. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, bro. I didn't realize your life was more important than anime. God damn. <laughs> alright, alright. I go path time over. Anyway, the story about the guy that finds the box. He doesn't. You know, I should do that later. I should make that story. You know, this guy, Plague of Gripes, uh, he made a story called How the Huge or something. That was hilarious. I think I remember. But it's, uh, I'm going to. It, it was. It took him 19 hours to make it. That's what he says, I believe. 
I watched it a while ago, so I'm not really sure I'm entirely accurate. But, uh, I realized that, well, he didn't really put that much effort in it, and he probably did use a dub, dub, some version of, I should ask him when I get more, you know, subscribers, money bags, and popularity. You know, if I made a YouTube, and if I made a Facebook account or a Twitter account, that's for this, i probably gain more views and all that. When I am not doing that ever. <laughs> I don't know man, it's, it's too much effort dude, I, it's not even the effort, I just hate it so much, I don't, okay, alright, let's see this, uh, I think that's Spacer Poodles guys, <laughs> it's not the end of the story though, it's really not that hard to draw one guy, you know, oh, there you go. Oh, I should do. Uh, I should just draw a cannibal here, eating a girl. No, not that. You know what I'm about. Eating a girl, and, <laughs> and Mr. Prudos just walks past him because he's so mad about not getting the case. And he's like, "Hey, I'm not gonna get this case. What's the point of throwing this guy in?" Mr. Prudos has a very messed up sense of morality, you know, as, as do I. But that's because I'm smart and I can think out of my morality. I can go, hey, what's a, what's really bad about a murder, right? That pissed you off. Should he be allowed to live? Right? You know, I know that sounds messed up. It's really big way. You have to actually really pretend. Okay, that's the word. That's a magic word that you didn't understand before. That I didn't say pretend. You didn't understand. Wow, I just got to pretend. Okay. Well, it's, I mean, you just have to pretend, uh... You know, more by the way, your money bags are about money bags in the future. And talk second to kind of future experience, yes, man. And, uh, you know, uh, alright. Drawing pavements is really, really bothersome. I mean, I don't have to do this at all. I don't, but, you know, it's, uh, The less black I put in there, the more detail I have to put in. And, you know, how black goes against detail, man. <laughs> doesn't go against detail, it's just, <clears throat> if I put a bunch of detail, I mean, I could avoid from detail if I have a lot of color. Let's paint some bussy, oh, wow, oh, I'm such genius. No, this can't be that small. I wonder if Mr. Pluto is standing in the middle of the streets, just kicking cat. Like, hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. He's like, ruff, ruff, ruff. Okay, um, see, Mr. Poodles is a special kind of man, he's... Anyway, my point is, before I jump into this, I don't remember anything I was saying. Isn't that great? Why? Because, uh, pretty much insane. And, well, he wants to draw a cannibal eating a girl. Of course, killing her. Yeah, right here. I have to draw them. Mm. It's too hard, dude, to do that kind of stuff. To draw more than one person in a drawing it's very bothersome. Okay. Mm. Okay, he's pinned her down and he's eating her face. Yeah, that's right. That's what's going on. And of course, uh, If if you don't know what I'm drawing here, you're going to think you're doing something else. Yeah, if I put in enough detail, you'd figure it out quickly. The cannibal is also very strong. You know, like horror movie strong, unreasonably strong, unreasonably strong. Here you go. Look at that. He's already cut off an arm. Alright. And, uh, he's... He 
keys in. someone like me a while ago, a while back. A while back, guys, I met someone like me, and he, well, he wasn't as smart as I am, but his attitude and behavior was similar to doing mine used to me. Of course, his was more obvious, and uh, it's pretty cool, you know. I want to talk to him, but I figured, hey, you know, why not? I mean, why? And there's, that was just his outside attitude, by the way. He's probably a pretty nice guy. You know? But that was... So, what that means, he wasn't actually, uh... Hmm... What posture should she have right now? There you go. Alright guys, the feeling in your pants right now is actually not what you think it is. It's uh, it's a virus that spreads when you look at any one of my drawings with any female in it. Is, uh... <laughs> oh, you can't even see what I'm doing right now, so... Who are you? If I share it, if I scan it with my... Uh... If I scan it with my... Hmm... I think about it. Just put her hand... I mean, it's kind of like my printer and send it to you. Oh, and uh, post it on some social media. You then see the detail. Actually, for some reason, it always looks better there. Than on the actual paper. Well, my drawings aren't great and all, but... They always don't look that... I mean, I'm talking about the bad ones, I mean. The bad drones I make look way better, much better, on paper. Mm, not on paper, I'll uh, scan through a printer and, uh... Ah, oh, man. There are more than one person. This is a huge bother, by the way. It's only three, so... At this point, I'm still paying attention to some details. Hmm. And it gets more than that, I just start drawing circles and triangles and oh hey, yeah, yeah, art. Hey, yeah, I don't like art, I don't want me not art. Hmm, that's her arm, I have to draw a boob there. By the way, that's how you draw, you always have to draw a boob right next to the arm. It's very important. Tip of the day, guys. Tip of the day. It's, uh, if you ever draw an arm, you have to draw boots. The only good thing about not putting that much detail is. When it's that uh it's that it's very easy to fix, you know. I didn't put that much detail in Mr. Poodles for unknown reasons. I think Mr. Poodles is a fiction of my imagination. I've never once stopped move forward, so no we can't get a scoop on my insanity despite the more Mr. Poodles. Yes you can say Oh, he's pissed off now. That means I feel angry sometimes. Uh, yeah, you're right. I do feel angry sometimes. And it's very odd that I didn't feel angry sometimes. You know, it's very strange. Why would I never feel angry sometimes? Oh, I never feel angry sometimes is what I just said. Uh, it was very strange, but that's what happens when you're, you have type 2 diabetes. I don't have type 2, but diabetes. <laughs> I'm just going to end it right there. It's right there. 
It's uh, right there. Tax who that be is just keep the diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. I'm, I just almost never say some words. I hear people say them all the time on TV. You don't watch TV. Um, just, you know, on random stuff I watch. You know, and, uh, and, uh, you know. I mean, I guess I do watch TV. Yeah, you're right. I do watch TV. I don't even think that's why I heard hear diabetes. Diabetes. From. And that's how I know how to pronounce the word. I just. Okay. Maybe I should draw this cannibal here. From the Cannibal Club. The Mad Lad Club. Club. You might notice, uh, right now. What's his name? Mr. Poodles is an absolute mad lad, and the cannibals are absolute mad lads, so he might, at some point, maybe join their gang. I mean, he's not a human anyway, so it's not really that bad for him to eat humans. Um... Hmm... By the way, I mean, you know a good way to s try to guess what I'm thinking, or what what kind of mental problem I have, would probably be like, uh, you know, he's, he has a lot of women being tortured, so, does that mean he has to stand against women? You know, you'd be right, you're right, you know, you know it's one of women, a woman, once borrowed my pencil, and, uh, Ever since now, I'm just unable to live with myself. Hmm. I feel like putting down a detail on her. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Why do you need detail? You're not even a main character in this image right now. You're such a bother, you know that? You're an absolute bother. Um, Nico, Nicole piece of garbage. How the hell do you think you are? Come into my drawing and, you know, demanding details. You know, the women deserve details too. No, you don't. You didn't just hear what I said. I have a thing about against women. I don't give them details. Nicole. Nicole was a random name. I just, uh, I didn't make up the name, but it did not come from my heart, so. <sighs> okay. No, I don't feel like... I don't know how detail should I put in this wall. So let you know it's a wall. It's so annoying. It's very unbearable. By the way, I wish I could just put a sun here. And, you know, copy-paste some color into the beauty. And, no odds. It's being hit by the sun, yay. This open blank gates. Uh, okay. Oh, it's only 33 minutes. Okay. Um. Hmm. I feel like I've started adding less details to the drawings. Have I? I see where you just did see uh, the old, the previous drawing. That's why I'm sometimes I talk about scanning the image and printing it. I mean, sending it to you guys somehow. Because you're still there, so there's no real difficulty there. Yeah, maybe I should start selling animations in the future. Yeah, I should start that at some point in the future. You can always trust anyone that says that, right? I'm just gonna do, you know, just at uh, some point in the future, I'm going to do all that that I just said. Absolute mad lad, don't you think? I like applesauce. Have you ever, have you guys ever met a Jamaican before? I don't like Jamaicans, but, but uh, you know, they're, they're pretty okay. They're pretty cool. They're pretty nice guy and, uh, you know, they like men, they like real people, 
You can have a conversation with one. It doesn't really matter what you are or what race. No one's that petty in Jamaica. I mean, I'm sure there's probably someone that petty in Jamaica. You know, I met a guy that was very weak that was Jamaican, so it's very possible to be anything. Maybe you're Jamaican. Whoa! Okay, I just realized I have a little. Okay. I didn't say that. I'm gonna just randomly say whoa. Dude, I've gotten so tired of drawing right now. My finger went even. I wouldn't even turn the page to perfects to line curve or anything. Line curve, it's a word I just made up. Probably means line curve. But uh, it's probably an actual word for line curve. Curve of a line. I'm absolutely naked, guys. Uh, and, uh. Well, this guy's eating this woman's hand. He already plucked out her entire left arm. Well, not the entire arm. This part of it. <coughs> okay. Uh, Alright, guys. I am bored and, uh... Oh, look. He kicked a can. He's like, wow, there's a can there. See that? Wow. Like that. Most importantly, the girl. <laughs> the girl's right there.